If you use the JC solution for a dot projector repair, like using one of these V1S, make sure you watch this video because I just had a huge problem with these. It took weeks to solve, but finally it solved. But hopefully JC is watching this and they find a true solution to this because it was a pain. So hi, I'm Jesse from VCC Board Repairs. Thanks a lot for joining us here on channel. If you like these type of videos, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with all your friends. Also, don't forget down below, I will link to everything from today's video. I will also link to my new Locals community, which is a way for you to support me directly, what we do here on the channel. I will also link to the t-shirts as well. So if you want to pick one up, check it out. So let's go ahead and get started with this nightmare situation. So I do want to start off saying that I am a fan of JC products, not just because their name is my initials, but because they do create good products. So I pretty much have every programmer you can imagine, JC P13, P11, P7, the different EEPROM programmers. I even have the P8, I believe this one is. Um, so I've been using them for a very long time, but this one issue is something that really, you know, was annoying. They weren't really that helpful. So let's go through exactly what happened. So story starts with the JC Pro 1000S. I was actually in the process of recording a video for you guys on a dot projector repair using this, which is a hub and a module. And this module is for the dot projector. So I plugged this into the computer thinking maybe it's better for me to record the computer doing this versus here on the, on the screen itself. As soon as I plug it in and open up the JC Repair Assistant software, it instantly updated the device. So for whatever reason, JC likes to force updates when you plug in the devices to their software without you having to manually approve it. But I figured, oh, okay, you know, I don't, I never plug this into the computer just because I power it through uh, just regular USB-C. I let it update and then I continue with uh, recording my video. So I do this where I plug in a dot projector that has failed. All right, so check. It says abnormal. So then I go to read it. I take it out and I get my uh, JC Flex for from Union Repair. So Union Repair is a reputable seller. I go, I didn't just grab it from random AliExpress or eBay or whatever. So I go to plug in cable, I go to burn. And look at that, it says not able to identify this cable. Please contact your seller for exchange. Basically what that means is contact Union Repair who's in China, I'm in the US. You know, usually when you do China orders, you buy in like large quantity of tools all at once every few months to make up for shipping. And I'm not gonna contact um, a China seller to return a $9 cable. So I figured, oh, maybe just a bad cable. I grabbed pretty much all of them that I had and they all said the exact same thing. So at that point, I had to stop recording my video and try to figure out a solution. I, I went on their website to try to download an older version, but there was no older version. Within the JC Repair Assistant tool, there is a downgrade option, but when I downgraded, it didn't even have the dot projector function. Even though I have this plugged in, that was just completely gone. So I had to re-upgrade to the latest version and it had it, but I was stuck with the same problem where I couldn't identify the cable. So at that point, I was stuck. So then I grabbed a JC V1S, which I already had. I bought the module for the dot projector, like this one can do iPhone 10 or 13 Pro Max and has all the different plugs. You know, out of the box, I plugged it in. I, you know, I plugged this all in, I used it and it worked. That's the one I used for my YouTube video where I do dot projector repair. And I used it for, I think at least, you know, three or four different uh, dot projector repairs with no issues. Then one day I decided for whatever, I don't know why, I plugged it into my PC while I had the JC Repair Assistant open and it auto automatically updated the software on this, the firmware. And I didn't think anything of it because it was such a time difference from when this one updated that I didn't put two and two together at that point. So I was like, all right, whatever. And then I go to do another dot projector repair uh, later on, you know, a few days later, and then I ran into this. So 
same process. You first test it, abnormal. I go to read, read successfully. But I get my dot projector cables. I go to burn and I get this message. Not able to identify this cable, please contact your seller for exchange. So at this point I had already bought, uh, well I bought this uh, module from Wholesale Gadget Parts and I bought some more extra cables from them as well and none of their cables worked. So no matter what, I couldn't get this working, I couldn't downgrade it with the JC Repair System software. So then we figured maybe I have a bad batch of cables so Wholesale Gadget Parts, we, we did a swap. I sent back my bad cables. They sent me their tested ones, which they said worked. Tested it again, same thing, all, every single cable. We thought maybe the module itself was bad. So I bought another programmer, a V1SE, bought another, well actually they sent me an extra one that we're gonna swap out so that just in case it's that, that's the issue. So, same thing, let's just read it. We know it's failed. So read, unplug, plug in the replacement JC Flex, burn, exact same issue. So basically no matter what, no matter what cable, I had a ton of different, I think I tried at least six different dot projector cables from different batches or whatever, nothing, we could not solve it. Uh, I even contacted JC directly through WhatsApp they weren't helpful. They basically just kept saying and just contact the seller, which it makes sense. Manufacturers don't want to deal with end users. Let the seller deal with them. But also Gadget Parts was, was trying to work with uh, JC, but there is also language barriers. So it was, I guess it was difficult to convey the issue. JC told Wholesale Gadget Parts to tell me to update the devices to the latest firmware. So let's check what these are on. So about you can see it is on firmware, on system version seven, firmware version, it's loading 2.0. And then this one go about the exact same thing, uh, version 7.0 and also firmware version was probably gonna be something similar, 2.0. So yeah, so basically both of these have the latest firmware software and everything, but they don't work no matter what. Um, we couldn't get it working. So then I got on a call with Wholesale Gadget Parts with Brian. He was really helpful. We were on the phone trying to troubleshoot and he grabbed one from his inventory. So this is a JCV1. So his worked. The one he grabbed, he had a dot projector. Uh, he read it and was able to write it to uh, multiple cables in his inventory. So sure enough, his inventory was unupdated is on version 4.7 and firmware version 2.0. So I guess system version is the important part, 4.7. And this one, so plug this in, read. Uh, it says bin one saved, grab my same cable, burn, and look at that, I could burn it. So it ensure and it's working. So, as you can see, this dot projector, I'm able to read it on all of these, but only this one on the version 4.7 is able to write on this one. And like I said, I'm using wholesale gadget parts. I was using uh, Union Repair, which is, you know, these are reputable, reputable sellers. They're not some, just some random resellers. So, from, I've seen, I've also seen a lot of people on the Facebook groups posting about this type of issue. Like they're saying their cables don't work. They tried, you know, everything. And I, so the, the story that I've heard is that basically they've been counterfeit cables and that's why they implemented this. And I guess their anti-counterfeit um, system does not work because we have genuine cables. I have genuine tools. I've only bought from reputable sellers but it's flagging all my cables as non-genuine and therefore doesn't let me write to them. Actually, it's not, it's not all cables. Um, so I have a batch of phones here, which are Tennis and Tennis Max. Both of those did not work. So we've tested against, you know, Tennis and Tennis Max, all of them exact same issue. I, I mean, it does work on, 
on this one, the old firmware. But on I tested iPhone 10 and that worked on the same batch of cables from the same Union Repair and Wholesale Gadget Parts. Um, I, I've done an iPhone 11 Pro Max recently on the same newer firmware versions and it worked. So for some reason the 10s and 10s Max specifically don't work. I didn't test every single model, but I know for sure those two models didn't work and it was really, you know, it's a pain. And I think the main issue is that the, the JC repair system software just automatically updates your device. It doesn't ask you if you want to update it, you know, approve it or deny it. It just updates it. And the problem is if there's an issue with the newer software, like, like with these, you're screwed. You literally can't do anything. You can't downgrade it because the firmware is not out there for you to download and manually install. So you got to find the seller that has a device with the older firmware, like wholesale gadget parts. I know they have um, quite the inventory of these devices that are not updated. So if you do run into this issue, you may consider just buying one with older firmware, uh, at least for the time being until um, until JC resolves the issue on their end, you know, maybe a future firmware update will solve all of this and then this video will be irrelevant. But I did want to share my story about what happened and hopefully JC watches this and fixes it. I'm not sure if they fully understand what's going on, but it's really a pain because I literally had devices, I had, I've collected up to like eight phones uh, 10s and 10s max that came in for dot projector repairs that I could not fix. I literally have all these programmers, you know, hundreds, hundreds of dollars of tools that do not work for this repair, including I have, you know, stacks of dot projector cables as well. So, you know, it's not like I'm not willing to spend money or I'm just like that random one off uh, customer. I'm a true JC fan you know there's other brands who make these similar type of tools but i always go with jc because i've had good experience with them you know the tools are easy to use they're user friendly and you know they're pretty straightforward and, and reliable but for this dot projector thing what a nightmare um you know i had to keep trying to explain to the customers why it doesn't work or like why i, I don't have a solution because i just i don't know so Luckily, I found an old firmware device and now it works. I've already fixed two of the eights that are sitting here. Uh, but I did want to record this video to let you guys know what I ran into. So I do want to give a shout out to Wholesale Gadget Parts. Go to WGP.com to go to the website. And, you know, they really helped me out with this, trying to figure out a lot of troubleshooting. Uh, no questions asked with the RMAs. You know, I told them about the issue. They're like, all right, send them back. We'll, you know, send you new ones and all that. So check them out. They have the JC V1 SE, which is the latest programmer, as well as the V1S. So just search their site for JC V1S. Also, you can search for JC Dot Projector, which will bring up all the different cables. They're in the Midwest somewhere, I think Oklahoma. Yeah, in Oklahoma. So super fast shipping to wherever you are in the US because they're kind of centered to the, to the country. So check them out. Make sure you use promo code VCCBR. You will get 5% off your first order. So if you never shopped there before, definitely take advantage of that deal. All right guys, so just real quick, the two differences that I've noticed between the V1S and SE is that the SE version has USB-C, whereas the original has lightning port. Um, the batteries that you can plug in on the back are different. The SE has a 6S battery. The S V1S just uses an iPhone 6 battery. And then the SE has like these little slots, so it's a lot easier to pop off this board. Whereas the other one, it just flats. So hopefully you guys don't run into this issue like I did. Do not plug these into your computer with the JC Repair Assistant open or it will auto update it without you knowing. So if you do run into this issue then just i guess buy another one like i did and then have the older firmware on there um you know hopefully jc watches this video and sees all your guys comments down below who commented about the issue you guys are having like i did um 
you know, reach out to me, JC, if you're watching this, let's get this resolved. Uh, I will help with any testing if necessary, but you know, maybe I'm the only one experiencing this and it's, nobody else has this issue, but from what I've seen on the Facebook groups, there's a lot of people with this issue and you know, I, I see a lot of people just switching over to different solutions with whether it's the Lubon or the I2C solution. I don't know. I, I like the JC system. I already kind of learned it. So I don't want to spend time learning some new system, buying all new tools and using all these other programs and cables and stuff. So I'm happy right now because it's working. So time for me to go finish the rest of the dot projector repairs. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video in all the Facebook groups, repair groups, forums, and everything so that people know about what to be aware of uh, the JC products. Make sure you guys join my locals community. It is free to join and watch and just see the posts I make that are public. But I do have a paid private members only section. So if you want to see those, make sure you check it out. It is the locals community link down below. I was also linked to this t-shirt and other ones that are repair related as well. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.